Hi everyone, I'm Kristen, and this is Cade, and today we are going to tell you a little bit about what we like to call checking in. So for lots of you, your mom or your dad, they've talked about checking in, and we want to tell you about uh, the way that we check in with our family. So. Kate and I are going to do this together. Um, we'll teach you how to check in, and then we'll actually do it so that you can see what it's like. Okay, so first you start off with your animal name. Now, My, what's an animal name? An animal name is... Shake. Mine is Warrior Wolf because I'm a warrior. I fight like a warrior. And what's your name? And my name is, well, I've had a couple of name changes, but my name is Anchoring Wolf. So it was Torrid Watchful Wolf, but now it's Anchoring Wolf. And I picked my name because the adjective anchoring, um, while we're in this, <laughs> While we're in this time of COVID-19, um, I want to be stable and solid and steady, kind of like an anchor. So I chose anchoring. And then Cade and I were both wolves. Uh, that's why we decided to sit in front of this wolf picture right here. Why did you pick a wolf? I picked a wolf because... A wolf is one of my favorite animals because it's an ancestor of dogs. And they're really fluffy, and I like fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> you love fluffy. <laughs> I picked a wolf because they are pack animals, and they like to be in their group, like in their family. And so what's pretty cool is that in our family, uh, we have two wolves. A lion and a horse. Yeah. Yeah. So first thing when you check in is to say your animal name. And after your animal name, what comes next, Cade? After your animal name, you say how you're checking in. And sachet stands for the emotions that you can say are sad, angry, scared, happy, excited, and tender. Tender means you're sad for someone. Or you could be happy for them, too, if you're tender. Yeah. Right? So most of us know what the emotion of sad feels like, right? Like, we know, and usually it's because, like, there's something that we were looking forward to and we missed out on it, or um, there's been some kind of something that we've lost, or it could, or it could be if we're leaving somebody that we love. So a lot of times that's when we'll check in when we're sad. And how about angry? What are some of the things that would make you angry, Cade? Huh. Something that would make me angry is somebody lied to me, which has happened before. Oh, and I made a mistake. I actually said something that would make you angry. And instead I should have said, what's something that you would feel angry as a result of that happening instead of it making you? So you would feel angry if someone lied. Right. Yeah. Um, what's another one? What if somebody is like bullying somebody? That would make me angry. You'd feel angry then too? Yeah. yeah. So but the, at the same time, I'd kind of feel tender for that person. The one who's getting bullied? Yeah. So you'd feel tender for the person who's getting picked on and anger towards the bully. Right. Is that right? Yeah. So the emotion of anger is something that we feel when there's a boundary of ours that's been crossed. Like if somebody hits us, that's like our personal space. And um, it's a it's a violation. So we, the emotion of anger, that just shows up in us. 
And we believe that um, there's nothing wrong with the emotion of anger, right? It's just something right. that we feel. Yeah, it's just like sad or happy. Um, it's just something that can show up. So then they're scared. And I think of lots of things that I can be afraid of. And it's usually because there's some <laughs> negative um, future that I'm thinking of. There's something bad I think that is going to happen. Um, how about you? How about you, buddy? Mm -hmm. Something that I'm s scared of is this video is really nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing that would make me scared if even if I got sick or somebody else got sick, because mm -hmm. sometimes people die. Yeah. During this COVID-19. Yeah. That's scary. Thanks for being so honest about that. Mm-hmm. I heard you say that you, do you act, do you really want to run away? Because we can stop the video if you want to. Oh, no. Well, I'm fine. Does part of you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how about happy? How do we just how do we describe happy? Happy is some synonyms could be um, joyful or content. Or, I do not know what that means. Well, that's why we use happy, so that kids know what we mean uh, when we're checking in. How about? Um, yeah, happy. When I'm happy, I want to share it with you. And then we can be silly and play. We can celebrate. Like we were, I was happy on Saturday because I, I got to marry your dad and I got to marry you and I got to marry Kaya. And then I was happy. What makes you happy? When you got married, um, that I have a stepmom. And that you're nice. Um, that I have a really good dad. Yes. And uh, I have really nice parents. You got a really good mom, too. Mm -hmm. What about puppies? Oh, puppies make me happy. They're so <laughs> cute and fluffy, and I just want to squeeze them. <laughs> <laughs> and then excited. Excited, we like to say, is like happy for something that's to come in the future and sometimes excited can have happy and scared in it because we're looking forward to what could happen but it means something it might not happen um so uh one of the examples that i like to use is i i am excited for when we get to see our family i'm excited for when when we can not do social distancing anymore, or when we can be in other people's presence. Is there anything you're excited for? You excited for school to get out? Yeah, I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to go into other people's houses and so I don't have to stay six feet away and all that stuff. Yeah. And last one, tender. You started talking about tender earlier. So tender is when you feel something that somebody else is feeling, right? Like happy for someone or sad for someone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or even maybe what about if someone is scared and it makes sense why they feel scared? Maybe we don't feel scared with them, but we can understand how they're feeling. So then we might say, I feel tender for you and you're scared. Does that work too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So after we say the sachet emotions, what comes next? Um, what comes next is, so in the first part, you explain how you're feeling. And then, wait, no. You say how you're feeling, and then you explain how you're feeling. Like, I'm happy that Kristen and my dad got married. Um, yeah. 
So you just explain why you're happy or why you're tender or why you're sad or angry. Yeah. And how about if, how about if you're checking in and I want to tell you um, all about what I'm thinking? Right. Am I allowed to interrupt your check-in? No. No, 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 no. So not talking over you, not interrupting. So what am I supposed to do instead? Wait patiently until it's your turn. What if I can't wait patiently? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what if I am feeling the same thing that you're feeling? So what say if she's happy that she got married and I'm happy that she got married too, I'd go like this. Raise a hand. Or go like this. I like to go like this. How about this? Oh, okay. This. <laughs> <laughs> Raise all hands and all feet. <laughs> and toes. And toes. And then tongue. And then what do we, what do we say at the end when you're, when you're checking in? And with that, I'm checking in. And then the people, so if you are saying your emotions, the other people say, uh, woo. Yep. So, um, should we give them an example now? Yeah. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? I'll go first. Okay. Warrior wolf checking in. I'm happy. Excited. Tender. I'm happy because um, I got to play with um, my mom. Not this one. Well, I kind of did. Because she tricked me on a video. <laughs> um, and I am excited for the weekend. Um, and... What was it? I'm tender for all the COVID-19 cases because even the people that their family members have COVID-19, that's why I'm tender. And with that, I'm checking in. Oh. Your turn. My turn. I am Kristen, Anchoring Wolf, and I'm checking in sad, scared, um, happy, excited, and tender. I am sad because there were people that I wanted to be at our wedding celebration that didn't get to be there because of the limitations with the virus. And I am happy and excited that I have Cade and his sister Kaya and Kyle that are all a part, um, that were officially a family. Um, legally and spiritually in God's eyes as well. And I feel scared when I think about what's taking place with um, the virus and that we don't know what things are going to look like. And we don't know when things are going to start back up again. And um, so I feel scared because we're not really in control of anything. And um, and I'm tender because of the loss that we're all experiencing, the loss of connection. Um, I'd love to see my friends and hug them. And um, so I just like hug this guy all the time. Um, yeah, so I'm tender because of what we're all missing out on, um, being together. And I'm tender for the ways that God is 
showing us how to connect on Zoom and through videos and um, I'm tender and happy for the family time. And with that, I'm checking in. Uh, woo. So thanks for watching our check-in video. We hope that you and your family um, take something out of this and that you check in with one another. Um, we tend to do it around the dinner table when there's all four of us. And it can be very revealing. <laughs> uh, Right? There's times where I check in on something that you had no idea. And then there's times where um, I check in on things and you weren't sure, you didn't know that that was going on. So it can be a great thing that you do with your parents and with your kids. So thanks for zooming in. Kate, say bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye, Kate. Bye, Kate. <laughs> bye, Kate. <laughs>